I'm Lynn Lim from Gallatin, Tennessee, and I'm excited to introduce our second Jerry Cole recipient, a four-time Rolex Junior All-American and fellow Vanderbilt commit from Pinehurst, North Carolina, Jackson Van Paris. Thank you, Lynn. Uh, it means so much to win an award that doesn't have to do with golf. Uh, this makes it that much more special. And congrats on being the 2021 player rep. Thanks, Jackson. I'm excited to begin officially in my role with this video, so let's get started. I've been lucky enough to play with him on a bunch of team events, um, from my first Evian Cup to Wyndham Cups and whatnot, and he's always there to cheer everyone on, hyping everyone up, and just a great person to have on your team. After every event, winning or losing, he's accepting of everything and he's nice to everybody no matter what happens. When I got to know him, I noticed how caring he was um, about what I shot or how I was doing or anything that was going on mentally. And that's the thing that I think stands out the most to me is just how helpful he is. He's always willing to help others before himself. He realizes that golf is not just a game, it's a lot more than that. Um, and he's found ways to give back to the community through that. And I think he realizes that he can do many other things and it doesn't just revolve around being like talented, it's about helping others. Right when I met him um, last year at this tournament, he was he was really easy to get to know. And we, yeah, we were, we were friends pretty quick. That definitely speaks to his character and what it does, making people comfortable really quick. You raised more than $250,000 with Leadership Links as part of the Carolina Cup. How did you get started? It was a chance meeting. Uh, I met Michael Sanders through, uh, through tournaments and he called me saying, hey, we need another guy for the Carolina Cup. And so I said, I'm in. And then from that point on, I fell in love with fundraising. And once he graduated, decided to continue on filling in, following in his footsteps and uh, running the event. That's awesome. Walk us through what you've done to make the tournament special. I've really carried on Michael's legacy. Uh, I think he left it in a great spot for me. He was doing a great job. And I think what makes the Carolina Cup special is the fact that we raised money for the Nicholas Children's Healthcare Foundation and the ACE Grant. Mm -hmm. Those two charities, uh, the Nicholas Children's Healthcare Foundation helps save lives and give care to kids that can't afford the care otherwise. And then the ACE Grant helps kids travel to tournaments that they otherwise couldn't afford. So both those causes are really, are really important to me and they mean a lot. That's so good. I know personally I work on the Tennessee Cup for my state. In 2020, these nine state cup series events raised more than $500,000 for charity. Thinking back, what has most inspired you as the result of this project? I think, like I said before, uh, what most inspires me is the fact that the money saves lives. I know a while ago, I didn't really understand what the money did. And I started out in the event just because I thought it'd be a good thing to raise money and to play cool, cool golf courses. But uh, I saw a video at one of my first Carolina Cup banquets and I really saw where the money went and how much it impacted the people that, they, that received it. And from that point on, I fell in love with the event and decided it was something that I wanted to continue in the future. What do you want people to most remember about your impact? Well, <laughs> I think just the fact that I really cared. Uh, the fact that I really cared that I was raising the money and the fact that I really cared about the people I was raising the money for. It wasn't one of those things I didn't do it for the awards and I didn't do it for the publicity. I just did it because I thought it was an important issue and it was an important thing to my community and the world. And I think that setting it up for kids in the future to continue the event, I, that's what I want to be remembered for. Congratulations, Jackson. I know you and Amanda have done great work on the board and Sean Carl and I hope to continue that tradition. Thank you.